Welcome to D's Nuts Garage, and today we're going to be working on this here 1995 F-150. Uh, we're going to be putting a two-inch drop lift on the back of the truck, and there's my buddy Mark over there. This is his truck. See, he's right there. He's trying to stay out of the camera, but we're going to put him in it anyway. So we're going to, uh, this is his truck, so we're going, to, we're going to try to do this. I've done a Jeep once or twice, maybe 15 times for his sake, but uh, I've done it, so we're going to try to do it again. So. Let's get started, and when we're done, we'll give you a walk around of the truck. So here's our two-inch drop shackles that we have that we're going to be putting on this truck, and I guess they're from DJM Suspension, and there's their website. This isn't an endorsement. It's just that's who the parts came from. So what we're going to be doing is we're setting up for uh, jack the truck up, put the frame on these jack stands, and uh, where we can adjust the axle up and down. So. We're gonna get started on that, and uh, we'll be back. So you've been watching here as we've been uh, trying to remove this shackle. So what we've actually done is we've got this part of the shackle which uh, comes over, bolts into here. Well, there's a this bolt here. We can't get it out because it's hitting the frame. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to go back to the passenger side, get it in the same, take apart this bolt, and get this shackle leaning forward. And then what we're going to do is leave the tires on the ground and raise the whole back end of the truck. And what that should do is allow this axle, not the axle, but the spring to come down and we can pull that bolt out and then put our two shackles on. So that, that's what we're gonna work on now. Pick up the axle, see what happens. Uh, 
just going to push them up. They're just going to go all the way up. I can try it, though. The only thing is, is I'm afraid when the axle hits the bottom of your bed, it may push it forward enough to push them out. Well, you're going to hit the bracket, the bracket on the fender before you will anything. Let's just see how close we can get. I don't know. I'm going to agree in the Maybe put both of them broke. Loose. They put like a little. Oh, no, we, we might, no, we still ain't gonna be able to get that down bowed out. Watch your finger. Because there's a there's a support on the bottom of the bed, and you ain't gonna be able to pull the bow out if you're against the bed. Let me see. That's what I was saying. If I keep jacking it up, we got to come down. It may. Yeah, we got to come down. Hit it a couple more times, just let me look. See, oh. let it be in there. Yeah, that's too much. All right. All right, so we still got Jack back in the truck up there. I know one thing, when we put these bolts back in, we're gonna put them the other way. Okay, so long as they don't come loose. Hold on, but before you do anything. Yeah, let it down the tire. Move your hand. My hand's good. It's so long. I wonder. Let me a favor. Take that jack, pull it around, and come up here on the front side of the thing. And just uh, jack it up. Stop right there. There it is. Can we jack it up some more? Oh, oh, oh. Just a hair. When I mean hair. So, uh, we'll leave the jack under it. Yeah, just leave exactly where it's at. So, you need four of these. The nuts are fine. We'll take a nut with us. Get another nut. If they got them, if they don't, keep those. The nuts look fine. These nuts look good. All right, so, uh, we've got the shackle off. The truck right here. This is the stock one. This is the new one we're putting on, which is a two inch. It's going to lower the truck two inches. Now, um, probably something we should have done beforehand was we probably should have ordered new bolts because, as you can tell, these bolts are pretty worn out and they're grade eight bolts. So, we went to the parts store and a couple of other places and could not get a replacement for those bolts. So, temporarily, we're going to have to go with these. Uh, we'll probably have to replace, order new ones that are grade eight, but these are, uh, I think they say grade five. It's a 8.8 .8 bolt, where these are, uh, I think, a 9.6 or 9.8. So we will uh, be putting these in, but probably replacing them later on just uh, to get them back up to grade eight bolts. But the truck has to be driven every day, 
So we had to do what we had to do today. But for any of y'all watching that are doing this, order these bolts. Um, there's four of them plus the one, two in the front. There's six. You probably need to order uh, these before you start replacing this shackle. Because more than likely if your truck's 20 years, how's this truck? 23. 23 years old, they're probably gonna look like this. And this truck has been babied, so uh, if you've had a truck you've been working and using it hard, they're probably gonna be really wore out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get back to replacing the uh, driver's side, replace it with this two inch drop shackle. And uh, with that being said, we're gonna get to work. All right, so I uh, got my shackle. What I wanna do first is I wanna put the top end here, through here like this. I'm just gonna... What's all the double holes for? Uh, well, if you put it in there, that's like the factory height. This hole here, so if you used to put this back on and then run it through here, I think that puts it like at your factory height because both of these. I don't want factory height. I want it two inches lower. Yeah, so by going higher on the shackle to this outside bolt, that's going to make it two inches lower. That's what I want. So I, it, that's almost factory height right there because I compared the two shackles earlier beside each other. So. <clears throat> Here's the lock tight. What I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna get that fed through there, get it aligned. Yeah, we got plenty of thread. Yeah. I'm just gonna put this nut and this bolt on the backside just temporarily. And then right when we get ready to torque them down, we'll put that lock tight on. But this way it'll hold it in place while I try to wiggle this axle back in. Cause it has to. It said you gotta put weight on them before you tighten them down anyway. Yeah. Once it's sitting on the ground. And this one's 25 pounds. This one's probably the same thing. Right. So now hop over here and Jack start up. jacking up the axle. Jack up the axle or the truck? That we wanted to raise this axle so it pushes it up. So as we push the axle, up, not the axle up, it'll push this spring up so and we can turn this shackle so to go in the... jack off? Pull the jack, jack off? Off these blocks. Oh, you pull the jack off off the block. Is that what you want? Yeah, yeah, all right. Now would be a good time too if you can see how he's got all this All of this looks like the under coating is coming off. I mean, now would be a good time to clean all of that and maybe put some rust coating on it or something. You want to do that? He said no. He said that's good to go. We don't live in a real salty climate anyway, so we don't really. But where am I picking it up at? At the spring at the yeah, shop? Yeah, go up underneath that shock. That way it's picking up this side. Just as you do, you keep an eye on these jacks and make sure that the jack stand, make sure they're not rolling on us. All right. All right. Yeah. So as you can see, as it's jacks going up, the shackle is about to go way up. Just watch that side over there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we do that. Ah, never mind. Let it down. Let it down? Just, just easy, just a little bit. 
More? Yeah. Oh, okay, 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 you're gonna have to raise it up. Raise it up? Yeah. trying to do? I'm trying to align this hole. I may have to get a... You want it to go up or down? I want it to go down, but it's kind of a, kind of a little deal here. Here it is. This might work. All right. See if you can go up a little bit more. All right, keep going. Keep going. What happened? I don't know what happened, but it put it right in the spot. Did it? Yeah, just hold on. I have this turn. First one of them old bolts right up there. What I'm doing there is I'm using this old bolt since we're not going to use it to get it lined up so I don't, we don't go banging on my new bolt. Ruin it. You gonna put a flat washer on it? It's got one. Has it? I didn't see it. Always use a little tap tap a roo. That's in there. I'm gonna put the bolt on the back side and the nut just so it all kind of stays in line. Alright, so we're through with this uh separate Well, nut. let that axle down all the way. There you go, let it down. Woo! That side's a popping in the carrying on. So, uh, where's our. We got the. You got a. Just give me a ratchet with that 22 on it. You got the 22. It's on the end of the. Oh. You just got your regular ratchet. I just want to snug it up. I don't want to make it real tight. I want to put a little snug to it, but I don't want to put too much. You need to do it the other way. Give me the wrench. leaning to the front. Yeah. It needs to be leaning to the back. We'll just let it down and watch it. We may have to raise it back up. It should kick it back this way. That's what happened when it dropped. It pulled that forward. So what do you want to do? Jack it up and push it to the back? Yeah, put it on the pumpkin and jack up the axle. Yeah. All right, hold it right there. That's, that's loose enough. 
You know where we could have bought boats? Huh? You know where we could have bought boats at? Where's that? The four wheel drive shop out there on the bypass. Probably. All right, so. Uh, Did it kick it to the back? Uh, yeah, well, it's going to. I just. That's uh, going to the other side. You can let it down now. Let me just pull my cord. All right. All right, just. What we'll do is we'll have to do both of them at the same time because when you're raising it up, it's going back. This wheel's on the ground. Is that wheel yeah. up? See, it's on the ground too. But as when we lower it, when we come back down, we'll raise the, it up by the axle <clears throat> and it'll push these backwards and then it'll realign and we'll pull these out and then we'll drop it. It's going good. The one is planned. So where are we? Underneath it. Now just slowly let it down. The shackle should start going back when they. Easy. Easy. Wheels are almost. Yeah. Let it off. Touchdown. All right, I'm going to let the jack go. All right, let her go. They didn't move. Well, no, but they're two inches higher, or they're more than two inches higher, and I pull the jack out. <clears throat> now let's push everything off the tailgate. So what we have here is a 1995 F-150 5-speed with a 300 in it. This is a one-owner truck and it is not for sale. So before somebody asks... Uh, this is a friend of mine's truck. He's had it ever since it was new and literally he works on it all the time. Tell him you make me lower the spring. There he is. Tell Wave him mark. Him lower the spring. So he wanted to lower the springs, the rear end of the truck, by a couple of inches. So we put a new shackles on the back that was supposedly to lower it, and it only lowered it by about a half an inch. So. <clears throat> How many miles is on the truck here?
it keeps pretty good care of it you know keeps it clean he has seat covers on the seats to actually protect the original material on the seats also he's got the rubber on the floors to protect the original carpet but so we uh like i said that's what we did today was trying to lower this and it uh it lowered it a little bit pretty clean truck Probably one of the nicest trucks that you'll see of this age, unless it's just, especially with 190,000 miles on it, so. He made me do it. No, I didn't. He brought the crap over here and said, hey, I need you to work on it. So we worked on it. And we, what did we learn? Not much. We learned how to get the shot. Where are you going? Right here. So uh, hope you liked the video. I hope you learned something. Uh, like it subscribe it share it with your friends make sure you comment down below and he's so beautiful bye bye